Just arrived this morning, it's a 1947 Austin 8 saloon, four-door saloon, um, entered from a deceased estate and it hasn't run for a couple of years so uh, we can't, we won't be able to get it running but uh, it certainly was running when it was put into storage. So let's have a little look around it. Uh, the bodywork presents very well indeed, if I'm a bit of a look at it, there's a little bit of a stone chip on the rear wings, a couple of, a couple of small marks on there. Um, a little bit of blistering on the door, from the door. Um, but overall, it looks very, very nice order indeed. No obvious signs of rust around the car. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, another little stone chip on the front wing there. Uh, there's a few little marks and blemishes, but more importantly, it does seem free of rust. The chrome works looking good all round. It's, it's obviously been garage stored well. Uh, very pleasingly, it still retains its original uh, number plate, MEV39, so whoever buys this car, I hope they don't take the number plate off, it's always a shame. So, interestingly, this car is fitted with an opening windscreen, as we can see there, very much a period feature, and a sliding steel sunroof, which would have been a very expensive option at the time. Let's have a little look inside. Always lovely to see original, original seats, definitely original seats, they are the front ones. Uh, it looks like the carpets have been redone at some point in time. Original steering wheel, yeah, dashboard all looks as it should be. The rear seats at some point have been reupholstered um, and they're in good order. The rear window blind. Headlining's obviously been done at some point in time. It's got a pitchly sunroof in it. Um, but very nice indeed, very nice indeed in there. Let's have a little look under the bonnet. So, yeah. All as it should be under there. Obviously, it'll need a new battery. Hasn't been run for a few years, uh, but everything looks really nice, dry and clean, and tidy and businesslike. So, all in all, uh, fabulous little post-war motor in Austin with a little bit of recommissioning should be absolutely fine.